Hello, you are listening to Ashan TV. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. If today is the first day you are listening to Ashan TV, share my videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Do not forget also to click on the notification bell so each time I bring up any content, you will not miss it at all. My name is Kwame Yeboah. This program has been entitled Jassi Brave Javna's Legacy. May his soul rest in perfect peace. That's a great job now. He had a great impact in the Ghanaian community with his talent and with his music. I'm going to read a, a, a few stories about Jasper Jabna just for us to think about him and also think about his impact in Ghana music. He wasn't just a musician, he was a storyteller. The storytelling appeared in all his music and all the proverbs that he used to use will make you think. I, for one, as a person, Jasper Benjamin had an impact in my life in terms of his persistence and uh, his hustling and um, getting through with life even though things were hard. The lesson I have learned from him is never give up, that you'll be able to achieve anything only, 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 only if you don't give up and you keep on per persevering. So, straight to the point now, I'm going to read his story, a bit of story about Dasebe Jabna, who people who doesn't they didn't know Dasebe Jabna will have to get to know him today. Okay, I read. Dasebe Jabna was a Ghanaian high life musician who became very popular for his hit album Koko Hoko. Koko Hoko was released in 1999, which he featured Lord Kenya. Lord Kenya was a rapper at the time. Koko Ko was his first major hit song in Ghana. He released an album in the late 80s with no success. After spending time in various African, African states, he returned to Ghana in 1992. In 1992. After seven years of his return, Kokoko had made him and Lord Kenya famous in Ghana and abroad because it was a hit. He made many successful hit albums like Still I Love You, You Still I Love You and many hit songs. His nickname became Hitman. They used to call him Hitman because he came out with hit songs almost every time. He sings it was a hit. Among the, among the youths and the old of his time, he was popularly beloved by many Ghanaians. Many of his songs were mostly mild tempo and has hip hop elements in it. He featured many hip hop artists like none other of his colleagues at the time. A major of his a major element of his song is the account way of storytelling by using proverbs. His proverbs stood out from many others due to his upbringing through his grandmother. His proverbs stood out through the upbringing of his grandmother. In an interview, he said to have experienced some of the stories in his songs, especially his love songs. 26 26. Dasibia took a flight from Ghana to London to work on his music. At to work on his music at Heathrow Airport, he was arrested by police. His luggage contained cocaine, of which he said he had no clue. Dasibia Jamna spent 11 months in prison, and that 11 months had a big impact on him. But he was never convicted of the crime due to the fact suggesting that he did not know the existence of the drugs. This led to his single for the next album, Sa Enetier, Trussell, Jimmy. After some time, Joseph Jabna died suddenly. He died in the early hours, 29 July 2016 at Military Hospital in Ghana. His death was felt among most Ghanaians. Everybody was touched. One part of his family were Muslims, so he 
should have been buried as a Muslim, but his other family refused. The very reason was the fact that he was of royal blood and should not be buried as such. A long fraud led to him being buried in December of that year, almost six months after his death. Many tributes to him followed after his death. Sarkodie gave me tribute, Daddy Lumba gave me tribute, and many more of the Ghana musicians gave me tribute because he was he was greatly missed. And his death definitely had an impact on the Ghanaian community. This is the story of Dazibre Jamla. He made an impact in the Ghanaian community music. He made sure all his, his music will still stay forever, even though he's gone. And that is why we are talking about his legacy right now. There are so many unfortunate situations that happened to Dazubi Jamna. Number one of the unfortunate situations is when he was arrested in London for the cocaine. Apparently, he didn't pack his luggage. I think it was his family members or maybe some of his musical friends that was packing his luggage. And they must have sneaked in the cocaine for whatever reason. He wasn't convicted of his crime because he did not do it. On Lon in London, a typical person with that amount of cocaine that they found in his food, he would have spent like five years or even more. The fact that they allowed him after living man, meaning that he wasn't convicted, that means he did not do it. But that had a big impact in his life that, you know, it's like that he felt like his image has been tarnished by, by just, you know, that cocaine issue. So I think his, he never became the same again. But anyway, after that, he gave us almost about three other songs to explain in himself in that situation what really happened. So if you haven't listened to those songs, I think it's best that you search for it. Chasso uh, and other, other, other song, Jimmy, and also Sa and Etienne. People like that should not be forgotten. His music supposed to be taught in school, how he was writing his storytelling. Because other musicians will come out with one or two words and create a beat and just make a song out of it. But with him, he will spend so much time to write music like a proper story, proper story of his life, and he'll sing with it. He'll sing with it. So his lifestyle should be really be an example of the new generation of musicians coming that they can look at that separate drama and then learn a lot out of that separate drama. I'm going to end here with the program. This program is sponsored by DJ Wire Services Limited www.djy services limited for your property needs in ghana holiday apartments property management construction management we do all of that there's a number on the screen get that number and then give djy services a call my name is kwame you brought once again and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys for your time until we meet again the next time, stay blessed.